the only way to keep all together is through the CPC, and the CPC is playing that role. So I have no doubt that the, the China will, will continue on that, that path and, uh, and achieve its, uh, its goals. The Chinese uh, government uh, has been a people's government, it's a people's republic. So um, the, the agenda of development is set by the people. If it's uh, run by the people, I think it's uh, good and China has developed. It's visible now, you go all across China, you can see the kind of development which has happened and how people are becoming part of it. Uh, well, the, the, the reality of, uh, of the, the last uh, 30 years show that but the, the development is, uh, is real and is really all un encompassing. So I have no doubt that the, the China will, will uh, continue on that, that path and, uh, and achieve its, uh, its goals. Of course, um, every country, um, my country and China, have challenges to meet and um, they, they can be obstacles on the path to um, development and the, and the achievement of the goals. But I, I trust that, um, that the Chinese government will overcome those challenges and, and reach its, uh, its goals. When I was here in the 90s, another big country in Asia fell apart and divided in many nations. And I was talking with one professor and he told me that it that will never happen in China. Because the unity goes around the CPC and the people have a confidence on the CPC. The importance of the CPC it no, uh, therefore has to no, has to do or has to be related to the existence and to the purpose of the Chinese policy. You cannot see China without the existence of one, no, no, one spirit, one power that keep the whole country you know, united. So the only way to keep all together is through the CPC, and the CPC is playing that role. We have a bond and rich you know, experience, you know, international experience to tell why China would not follow the West, West system, either in the economic system or in the political system. In many in other parts of, of the world, you know, for example, like the Middle East, the, the, the U.S. You know, under the Bush government, the U.S. carried out the Greater Middle East plan to promote the Western type of democracy there. Right? But you, you can see, for so many years, you know, now the whole Middle East is in chaos. We don't expect you know, an orderly Middle East will come up in the next 10, 20, even 30 years, even longer time. Right? Also in other parts of the world, you know, Middle, you know, Africa, you know, Latin America, you know, because Western type of democracy does not work there, right? It does not work there. So I don't think you know, China will follow because China is a civilization state, you know, has a least history. You know, so China, I, I don't, because also early on, you know, in modern, modern China time, Dr. Sing Zhong San used to try to, to practice the Western type of a parliamentary system, but that was a failure. That led to the failure of the parliamentary system, led to warlordism for such a long period in you know, China. So for many generations of Chinese, they still have this memory, right? So I don't think, you know, and even with very high pressure from the West, China will practice that because particularly you know, since the open door reform, China has found its own way 